Hello guys, this is Brad again, and I have another fragrance review, and this will be on Kerosene's Creature Fragrance. This is a fragrance that came out in 2012, and is classified as an aromatic green. The notes, sweet birch, mint, lemon, jasmine, green tea, sage, violet leaves, cypress, cedar, patchouli, and moss. Okay, um, I believe I might be the first person to be reviewing this one on YouTube. I've seen some first impression videos, and I've seen some other people say that uh, they'll probably wait until it gets a little bit warmer before they review this fragrance. And that's understandable, because it is definitely more of a spring fragrance than any other season. Um, but uh, I did give it two wearings at work. I had two samples, two wearings, and I am ready now to give my thoughts on the fragrance. So, first of all, when you first apply this fragrance... Um, it does uh, the first blast. It really will get your attention. Uh, compared to other green fragrances, you know the opening is quite something. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's repulsive. It's just uh, sort of jolting, <clears throat> to say the least. Um, of course, after after that very first time, I think you're, you'll expect it and it won't bother you too much. But uh, uh, that's probably why the fragrance got the name Creature, because of the opening, I would think, because the dry down really was very inoffensive. <laughs> but uh, I would say that this fragrance isn't really Creature-like to my nose, in like the vein of like the Incredible Hulk, Blue Ferrigno. It's more along the lines of like a Shrek, you know, imagine, you know, a lovable creature, you know, he likes to make wise cracks and this and the smash mouth, that kind of thing. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, the opening... I definitely get uh, a strong blast of mint, and when I say mint, I am referring to a specific type of mint. I would say mint generally falls into one of three different types of mint. You have like that dry herbal Cartier Roaster kind of a mint, and you have maybe more of like a uh, a green fresh mint, kind of like uh, Elizabeth Arden's green tea spray, and then you have this uh, third type of mint, which I would... Um, describe as almost like a candy-like mint. Think along the lines of, you know, breath savers, you know, candy or something like that. Very uh, candy-like, uh, kind of a sweet green mint. Um, so, definitely with uh, Creature, that's the kind of a mint that I'm getting, more of a candy oil green mint. Uh, similar to that of uh, Meth Fresh by Healy, uh, I would think. Um, so I get a lot of that mint, that, that green candy-like mint. And there's also a uh, pretty uh, strong blast of some kind of a medicinal thing going on. I would liken it to like camphor or um, menthol. It almost has like a um, Ben Gay like feel to it. And I could even see kind of like a toothpaste, but not really like a fresh modern toothpaste. I just kind of picture some old man behind the shed mixing his own batch of uh, minty toothpaste. Eh, just puts anything he wants in there. And it has a minty feel to it, but it's you know, definitely dated. Um, so I get some of that in the opening. And then the third thing I get in the opening is kind of like uh, this green bitter kind of an accord. Similar to like Pettit Green. If you've ever smelled uh, Bulgari Porum Extreme, you probably know what I'm talking about. Just like if you took some fresh green uh, sticks and bent them until they kind of tore. You smelled that green fiber in there and that kind of thing. So that's what I get in the opening. Like the pedic green kind of a thing, the mint and like that menthol. So, uh, you know, a lot of people might be a little put off by the opening because it is very medicinal, minty, but uh, as as it dries down, uh, mostly it just kind of um, drops out, you know, the medicinal and drops out, you know, the bitterness. And all you're pretty much left with is just a very basic candy-like mint smell, very similar to Meth Fresh. Um, so I would say that uh, if you like Meth Fresh, definitely want to give this one a try as well because I think it kind of takes that basic um, idea and kind of builds on it a little bit. It gives it more of a, uh, you know, interesting opening. So it's kind of like, you know, Meth Fresh Intense or Meth Fresh Extreme. So let me get into the uh, final scores and give you some more thoughts there. The smell, I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 10. Uh, it's a nice, pleasant smell. But uh, to me, it's almost like an anti-fragrance kind of a smell. When I say anti-fragrance, it kind of reminds me of like, um, if you take like Mugler Cologne or Gendarme Green or Menthe Fresh, 
very nice smelling fragrances, but they don't smell like cologne to me so much. It's just like like a product, like in this case, you know, like candy or maybe, you know, um, Gendarme always reminds me of Pearl Shampoo. Moogler is always going to be compared with Irish Spring, so people might not uh, necessarily think that you're wearing a fragrance. They might think you smell good, but they might think it's, you know, your soap, your shampoo, or your breath mint, or something like that. So I'm going to give a 6.5 out of 10 just because of that. Uh, versatility, 6.5 out of 10. Uh, definitely a great uh, option for spring and summer. Um, fall, probably on warmer days, be good for fall. Maybe not so much winter time. More day wear than night wear, I would say. 6.5 out of 10. Uh, it's pretty versatile, I would say, but not the best option for cold weather. Uh, projection longevity, 7.5 out of 10. Um, for a green fragrance, um, I think you can get a good 4 to 6 hours out of this one, easy. Um, which I think is probably pretty good for a green fragrance. Um, and probably even more, you know, some people are very generous with their projection longevity scores. Um, so, I think 7.5 out of 10 is pretty fair there. Uniqueness, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Definitely, if you haven't smelled Menthe Fresh, this should come off as very unique. Uh, even if you have smelled Menthe Fresh, the opening is definitely different than that because of that menthol and like bitterness mixed with the sweetness of the uh, mint. Price point, now we're looking at about $140 a bottle. Um, I'm going to give it 5 out of 10. However, um, compared to similar fragrances like uh, Mount Fresh, we're looking at like $130 a bottle. So the price point is pretty close, and I think this one might actually be a bit more interesting, so I think it does justify the extra $10 for that. Overall, I give it 6 out of 10. I think that, uh, you know, definitely, if you're thinking about getting Mount Fresh, check this one out because it has a very similar feel to it. Um, I do think that uh, for me, though, I think I actually prefer cheap mint fragrances for some reason, like Live Jazz, Calvin Klein Man, even Cartier Roadster. You know, not exactly cheap, but definitely a better uh, price than this. So that's just my thoughts on this one. Uh, I know a lot of people loved Mint Fresh. Mark said it was the best mint he ever smelled. Dustin did a review of Mint Fresh and liked it a lot. So, yeah, for people like that, this is definitely not something you want to overlook. So I hope you enjoy my video, and I'll talk to you guys later.